Welcome to Appledore Baptist Church, Church Without Boundaries. Um, it's good to be able to share a few thoughts with you again this evening and I trust that you're all well. A few weeks ago I spoke about Jesus a bit of saying, I am the bread of life. And in John's Gospel we have these seven great I am statements and I want to just share a few thoughts about another one this evening. Jesus says, I am the door, or in some versions it says, I am the gate. And just to set the scene as what had been happening, at the, in chapter 9 of John's Gospel, the blind man had been healed. And the Pharisees, those very upright men who thought they were above everybody else, had questioned him and said, well, who did this? And, you know, what happened? And, of course, he said, Jesus from Nazareth. And they were not happy about this at all they started to feel threatened by Jesus. And instead of rejoicing and being happy for the blind man, they excommunicated him and sent him away. And um, Jesus said to them, you upright men, you think you know it all, you know, you, you think you're best, but I have come, I am the true way, the truth and the life. I am the door and you can only enter into everlasting life and peace and joy and comfort by knowing me. Now I want you to imagine the sheep on the hillside and at night being taken to the fold. This would be either um, square or uh, perhaps a circle, a biggish area of stones built up to about four foot or more high. And on the top would be lots of thorns and briars put so that once the sheep were in that fold, they were totally safe from anything in the outside that would seek to harm them. And the entrance was very small. And for a, for a person to go in, you would have to bow low to get through because of the, the doorway was so short, uh, not very high and narrow. But it, and the sheep could go in and out easily. And at night, the sheep would come to this fold and the shepherd would stand there with his crook and he would look at each one and check them over as they went through. And once they were in and they were all there, then he would get into that doorway and he would sit there and fill that hole, that doorway, with his crook and take care of them all through the night time, the darkest time. And this is a lovely picture of Jesus saying to us, I am the door. If you, you can only enter into everlasting life, peace, joy and love and all that you need, you are safe once you enter through me. And Jesus is saying to us, like he was saying to the Pharisees, all these things that go on around us in the world, they fade, but once you come in and you know me, you, come, you can only come to my Father. You can only come to eternal life. You can only come to eternal peace through coming through the door, that is me, believing in me. And then I will be with you continually and I will be your protection at night in that sheepfold. And then in the daytime, I call you by name and we go out together and we find new pasture and we find new blessings. What a wonderful picture that is of Jesus. And then he goes on to say, and I, when you come in to that fold, in through me, in through the door, then I become your good shepherd. And that's another one of the great I am statements. And Jesus then becomes our bread of life and provides for all that we need. And as you daily go in and out and you walk with Jesus and you get this relationship that builds up. He walks with us. He talks with us. He gets to know us. He gets to know what we need. And this is just so wonderful. But if we try all these other doors that are around that would perhaps are of power or perhaps of success, um, of achievement, perhaps of knowledge, can be all of those sort of things and many others. But they fade, they do not last. But Jesus is the door to eternal life. And so in these times when everything is so uncertain, I just give praise and glory to Jesus that he came 
and that he is the door that by which I've been named into that sheepfold. And I now know that I am with him and he is with me every moment of the day. We do not need to fear because he will provide for all that we need. God bless you. Remember that Jesus is the fold, is the door into the fold. You are safe with him. You do not have to fear. Hallelujah. Praise his name. Amen.